2019 you could just be the dashboard or a report and you are golden companies are running after you trying to get to work for them but now if all you know is just building dashboards and reports you are outdated because ai tools like chat copilot and other ais can literally just build those things in seconds so that is why companies are no longer just looking for people that can build dashboard that ais can actually do they need people that can do much more than that You've probably heard this before, data is the new oil. What if I told you that data analytics, the way we know it before, is no longer enough? Companies aren't hiring just data analysts. They are hiring data strategists, data thinkers, people that think deeply, and also data storytellers. So companies are not just looking for data analysts, they're looking for people that know more than just building reports. This is the reality, guys. But the thing is, what is even coming is better. What is coming is bigger. So companies want people that can interpret data, question data. You know, those things that AI cannot do. AI cannot question data. AI cannot like interpret data like a human being. And AI cannot add storytelling to it, right? They're just a, they're just a flavor that a human being can actually give to data. And that is what many companies are looking for they're looking for people that can think deeper they're looking for people that can interpret data and they're looking for people that can tell stories with data things that ai cannot easily do that is what companies are looking for so in other words they're no longer hiring report makers or dashboard creators they're not hiring data thinkers don't just focus on learning how to create beautiful dashboard learn how to think as a data analyst now let's talk about the new era the new skills that every data analyst need in 2025. The first skill is analytical thinking and strategy. So it's not about what the data says, it's about what it means. So you have to go beyond just talking about what is the data saying. Okay, you made 10 million um, in the past month. What does it mean? Do you get like, what does it mean? Can you build a strategy from a raw data? Can you get strategy out of a data? That's what leadership wants now. That's what companies want now. So if you actually pattern yourself, pattern your learning, pattern your skills, in some of these skills I'm going to list out that you need right now, it will help you get jobs. And when you put these skills in your portfolio, companies are going to hire you. The second skill you need to learn is business acumen. Understanding the business behind the data is crucial. Right now, let's say you are working with a sales data and you don't even understand what sales is all about you don't understand the basic um dictionary the basic things that you need to know about sales like uh, profit margin customer lifetime and market trends you don't even understand all these things it's going to affect you companies want you to understand the business part if you understand what business is about right it will help you to better derive insights from that data learn the business part of data so learn what sales is all about learn what marketing is all about that's why most times before you start doing the project research on that field if it's a marketing data go and learn what marketing is all about what is the important things you need to know about marketing and what is it what is it if it's about customer segmentation what is important what is the important part of customers that companies want to know about try to do research and understand what that particular field of analysis you want to do is about now the next skill is a big one a big one and this skill is storytelling so you need to learn how to tell stories with data raw numbers will drive decisions stories will storytelling is what turns dashboard into a pitch a chart into a decision 
and a thread line into a million dollar insights. Now I'm going to show you the difference between a data analyst that doesn't tell story with data and data analyst that does. I'm going to give you a scenario of what it really means by telling story with data. I know maybe we have been hearing, hearing about this thing all the time. What does it really mean? And then if you want me to make a concise video on this particular topic, let me know in the comment section. So let's say a data analyst in a fashion company and the head of sales comes to you and says, sales dropped by 20% last month. What's going on? Now we're going to use this scenario and talk about how two data and two different data analysts is going to respond to it. Now the first we're going to talk about the traditional data analyst response. That the data analyst is just focused on building reports and dashboards. If you say yes, yeah, sales dropped by 20%. Here is a chart that shows that shows it. Most of the drop was in Lagos. The then anywhere from 10 million to 8 million, and that's the end of the reports. This is just data reporting simple and short data reporting it doesn't help leadership understand why the job happened or even what to do next now we're going to talk about the storyteller response now how a data storyteller will respond to this question okay so the person will be like yes the sales dropped by 20 percent last month and the biggest hit was in lagos yeah but here's what i found sales of a casual wear line dropped by 45 percent especially t-shirts and hoodies then to now go ahead to say when i dug deeper i saw that competitor launched heavy discounts during that same period while we didn't run any promo are you understanding are you seeing the difference our facebook ad budget was slashed by 60 percent last month due to a marketing pause so you see the difference the the person that tells story with data is telling the leader what caused the drop he's not just telling the manager oh yeah 10 million was dropped in sales last month and it was dropped in lagos right and that is it no it goes beyond that it goes beyond that into telling you why you dropped okay you dropped because a, a competitor um a competitor company launched a discount for the same product we give and we didn't do that and also their advert facebook advert uh, budget was slashed by 60 percent so this might be why this happened so we are seeing that it's going beyond just reporting that oh yes it dropped by 10 percent and it dropped in lagos and so we say it dropped in this state it dropped is beyond that you tell story tell the person why and what can be done why it happened and what can be done about it so this is what storytelling is you need to learn this thing a storyteller is someone a, a data storyteller is someone that thinks deeper than just a data dashboard builder or report maker whatever so that is it now let's move to the next skill before we move to the next skill if you're enjoying this video and you're still watching by this time please subscribe to this channel like this video so that others can get to see this video and don't forget to join my membership this membership is special because we meet every month and i'll answer any question you have and help you help you solve any personal data related issues that i don't do for everyone it just goes for 600 naira and it has to renew it every month so don't forget to join my membership now let's be continue with the skill so the next skill is communication skill yes communication i've seen many people that they know how to build dashboard they're even good data storytellers yeah. but the issue is that they don't know how to communicate their insights they don't even know how to put the, their words accordingly like maybe they are scared they are shy they're not bold enough if you if you want to learn how to communication you have to know how to be a good public speaker because they are going to be standing in front of ceos I'm going to start in front of shareholders. So you need to know how to share your insights to different stakeholders. Some stakeholders might be um, technical, while some might not be technical. How do you share, break down your insight to the point that non-technical stakeholders can understand what you are doing? Have you seen some person um, presenting their project or their work and you don't even understand what the person is saying? You're not being carried along. You are trying to understand what the person is saying you know, doing and you are just confused. And then there are some people that when they start presenting, they carry you along one step to the other. They carry, it's like you two of you are working together. It's like you are, you, are, you are understanding the person's thought process. And that is the best way. Communicate your insights. It's very important. And then the last skill, AI collaboration. You need to learn how to use AI. You need to learn how to be a partner of AI. Be a, you need to learn how to partner with AI. Let me put it like that. Because a lot of people say, oh, AI is going to take our job. 
AI is going to go our job. No, AI is only going to take your job if you don't know how to use AI. People that know how to use AI are the ones going to take your job. So it's not AI. The person that knows how to use AI will take your job. So it's two people that will take your job because who's going to use that AI? AI needs someone that put in the data. AI needs someone that will feed it with information. So that's why you need to learn how to use AI. So learn how to use AI. All these things, all these skills I just listed, you can do them using AI. Learn how to know how to query AI, right? To give you the correct analysis or to give you the right thing you need to do. It's very important. Guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to join my membership. This one is special. They are going to be very personal and special to me. Because I'm going to hold your hand and I'm going to help you. A lot of people ask me for mentorship. This is your opportunity to join my mentorship program. Okay, see you in my next video. Bye.